Hey there. Uh, so I'm going to be showing a alternative to glycol system. Um, I wanted to make this because for a while I was researching alternatives for a chilling system for my fermentation vessel. And uh, while I found a lot on the internet, I had to piecemeal a lot of ideas or research a lot of stuff and come up with my own ideas uh, to create a good solution on a cheap budget. So I just wanted to make a video so I could share that with anyone else that might be trying to do that same thing. So let me show you what I got going here. Uh, so <clears throat> this is my SS Brutec Unitank. Uh, I wanted to be able to obviously chill to fermentation temperatures, but I also wanted to achieve cold crashing temperatures for extended periods of time. Um, I used to have a cooler where this mini fridge is now and it really wasn't cut. It did great for heating. It's winter right now so I used an aquarium heater to keep fermentation temperatures but um, <clears throat> for cooling to cold crashing temperatures it really ended up requiring like two to three bags of ice a day. Um, it would really add up for long cold crashes and it just wasn't efficient so what I did was I purchased this mini fridge on the mar Facebook marketplace for like $40, right? And uh, all I did is I drilled some holes in the side here and ran it. And it was with the original vinyl tubing that the temperature SS Brutec temperature control package comes with. Um, now, at that time, the, temp the refrigerator was having a hard time maintaining temperature because of the temperature loss in the fermentation vessel. So I made a few upgrades uh, on a budget upgrades and things seem to be holding up really well. So I wanted to share that with you. So cheap mini fridge. Uh, I upgraded the tubing to silicone. Um, silicone is a better insulator than vinyl. And then I also purchased this uh, rubber pipe insulation from like Lowe's or Home Depot really cheap um, just a half inch diameter it's uh, it really keeps it from sweating it keeps me from losing um, cold temperature between the two vessels and then on the inside I upgraded by just buying this cheap battery operated fan off Amazon um, this mini fridge operates through a cooling element and it just gets cold and and that just chills the inside but there's no fan so this way I'm circulating the cold air across the element through the inside and really happy with the results I'll show you I just dropped some but I've been able to achieve down to 22 degrees Fahrenheit which is crazy because really it was only able to handle like high to mid 30s ambient air temperature but now I'm holding low 20s ice has been steady it has been melting um, so really happy with what I got going here and so I just wanted to share it for anyone else out there looking to make a upgrade to their fermentation setup without having to move to glycol or anything crazy like that so uh, thanks for watching uh, cheers and happy brewing